Welcome to Unit 3.4. In this unit, we're going to learn how to use the automatic fill option in Excel. Let's start with formulas. As you know, when you want to add up a column, we use auto sum and enter. Now, in order to copy this formula, as we've previously learned, you use the little black plus in the corner and drag across. And to add up rows, let's click in E1, use auto sum again because the numbers are consecutive, and enter. In order to copy down, you have one of two options. You can get your black plus and you can drag down. I'm going to undo that. Alternatively, a nice shortcut is to get the black plus in the corner, the full handle as we call it in Excel, and double click. And as you can see, that also automatically copies down, provided that there is something on the left-hand side. Sometimes on the left-hand side, it hits a blank cell and stops, and so you would need to drag manually. The other features of Autofill is, for example, the days of the week. For example, let me type Monday, or M-O-N for Monday, get your black plus and drag down. Let's do months. I could do Jan for January, black plus in the corner, drag down and it will follow by month. In the next column, I'm going to type a date. Do you remember what the shortcut for, do, for, for automatically putting a date in? Yes, it's control semicolon. Black plus in the corner and drag down. As you can see, it changes from the 30th of September to the 1st to the second, to the third, etc. It will also do quarter one. Black plus and drag down. As you can see, there are only four quarters in a year and it will restart at quarter one. What about numbers that run consecutively? Let's type the number one. I'm getting my black plus in the corner and I'm dragging down. And as you can see, it doesn't work. I want it to go one, two, three, four. In order to do this, you need to give it a sample. So let's type a 1 and a 2. And then you need to highlight both cells as an example, and then drag down, and it will fill by example. For example, if I wanted 10, then 20, to follow in increments of 10, I would highlight these two cells in the corner and drag down. It then would go up in increments of 10. And that is what you use your full handle for. It makes it much quicker and easier than doing it manually.